Welcome to QValidation.com. So in this video, we will see how you can run the protractor end-to-end -end test on the Firefox browser. Okay. So in our previous video, we have seen how to run the protractor test in the Chrome browser because Chrome browser is basically a default browser for the protractor. We have seen how to configure and uh, how to write the configuration.ts file. So here, if you see, uh, I have mentioned as browser name equal to, I mean, browser name is Chrome. And I didn't mention any of the driver because protractor have by default the browser driver in Chrome but in case of um, your Firefox driver we have to mention the driver details and uh, we'll see what and all changes we need for to run the test in the Firefox browser okay so if you see the script file so I'm keeping that as same just to show you how to run in the Firefox browser so I'm not going to change anything in this okay so let's change this configuration.ts file so here what i will do i'll comment this one okay and then what i will do i will enter browser name and here single quote firefox okay and here let's put another capability here there is something called your marionette that is the what you call the browser driver for um, your firefox okay okay so marionette here you can mention is true okay and you can specify even some more capabilities so for example let's say if you have anything ssl certificate you want to accept it so what you can do you can write this as accept ssl okay and you can mention as true okay so like this also you can mention whatever capabilities you have and here i'm going to add something so let's say on prepare what i will do i will maximize the driver just to maximize the browser okay so browser dot manage dot then window dot maximize okay so here I can mention this one as it is even you can mention the implicit weight if you want so how I can do here so put a semicolon so and then what you can do the same way browser dot manage dot timeouts so here timeouts method dot implicit you can see implicit weight and you can mention the uh, implicit weight uh, in milliseconds so let's say 4000 so this is nothing but four seconds okay so here my setup is done because i have set the browser num name as firefox okay now the thing is that as i told for chrome i don't need to specify the driver because the, it is default browser default browser for the protractor but for the firefox i need the marionette driver now from where i can get it so if you see in uh, if you have would have seen my previous video we have done something called as web driver manager update so what it basically does it uh, in it downloads and uh, keeps the firefox driver into your project okay so if you see somewhere here if i go to node modules and then if i go to protractor okay so here i have run this web driver manager hyphen manager update then what it will do it downloads all those things so i will go to node modules and here web driver manager so if you see here selenium and here you can see the gecko driver so gecko driver is nothing but your the marionette driver so that is already there so you need not to specify the path of that because it is already in your project folder so it can take up automatically okay so now to run that as as we have seen in our previous video so what i will do i'll go to node modules then i'll go to bin and then i'll go to web driver and then start okay so if you didn't do web driver hyphen manager update before then please do that and then run this command and if i do this and it says selenium server is up and running okay so now what i can do i can create another terminal and here what i will do npm test because i have so if i let me go to the configure package.json file so if you see here 
it's the to run the command protractor configure.js i have to run npm test what it will do it will first transpile the .ts file into .js file and then it will run by using the protractor command i have given the path of this protractor so now let's run this so there are two it blocks so two test it will run so let's see what is the error it is showing okay so here the error it is throwing here so what i can do i can just mention this as a protractor only now let's run this test again okay so it is transpiling and then it will open your browser okay so it is maximizing and then it will run your test on the browser and this maximizing an implicit weight is not only specific to your firefox or chrome browser but uh, you can run uh, you can use that for any kind of browsers like your chrome firefox or internet explorer okay so the test ran successfully how do you know you can see here two green dots so and here it says that two specs because i have two it blocks and then there are no failures edge zero failures okay so that is uh, one of the simplest way to run the protractor test in your firefox drive uh, browser actually so you need not to actually change anything on your script just you need to change the configuration .ts file and then you can run your test okay so that's all for this video stay tuned with our next video updates and do subscribe thanks